What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and Sadamask is a complete flop, failure, whatever you want to call it. Now, you can you can say you can ignore reality, right? You can ignore reality all you want, but you cannot ignore the consequences of reality. And the reality is right now is that it is a terrible, clunky, derpy app that has not been working correctly at all. A ton of people are losing their money. There's all kind of controversy surrounding it, and even some of the top Saitama crypto influencers influencers are starting to see the light. And if you haven't started to see the light, well, you're just delusional. Now, Saitama is getting listed on some exchanges, yada, 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 doesn't matter. No one cares anymore. Everyone is tired. Everyone is tired of waiting for the spectacular thing we've been being promised that has never happened, right? Now, look at you have to understand one thing, guys. You have to understand one thing. If you just get out of your bubble, you take your little foot, you take a step outside into the world of DeFi, the vast world of DeFi, right? Because unfortunately, a project like this preys on new investors that don't know anything else in this space, right? All they think is just Saitama and Shiba Inu. That's what they think exists, right? And they don't understand that what Saitama and Sadamask is trying to do, many have done and they're doing it much, much better, right? Now, in order to come into a space like this, and in order to be competitive, in order to make people want to move away from the trusted brand, you gotta be 10 times better than the rest. And at this moment, they're not even as good as the best, not even close. I challenge you to get outside of your bubble, explore DeFi, guys. Look, at I was a newbie investor at 1.2. I understand that when you get into this space, Saitama, the, the price is pumping. I mean, look where it was. The price is pumping. You listen to Russ speak. You listen to all these crazy Saitama influencer spheres, right? They're telling you that Sadamask is going to be great. You don't know about, I mean, even Uniswap. You don't know about SafePal, MetaMask, right? You don't know about established things in DeFi that work so well. They work so well and they're doing such a good job, right? You don't know about those sorts of things because you don't, you don't, you don't walk on the wild side. You stay in your little bubble, right? You got to get out there. You got to explore DeFi. It's vast, right? And the more you know about the space, the more you understand that what Saitama is trying to do is mediocre at best, and they look amateur compared to the rest. Now, Alpha Investments made a very, very good video, and I'll put a link to that video in the description down below, where they talked about this fact. They said no one in any other big brain community is talking about Sadamask. They're not. They're not. They're not talking about Sadamask. Why? Because it's irrelevant. It's super irrelevant. Now, I know that hurts a lot of people, and I know you guys are going to get mad and, and, leave some, and leave some mean comments. I understand. I get it. I know where you're coming from. Look it. There's a lot of people that come to my stream and write the little comment, I used to think one way about you, but now I think this way, right? Because we kind of saw the writings on the wall, right? We were a newbie investor at one point and we were tricked by this foolery at 1.2. But sooner or later, right, if you have any common sense, in my opinion, you stop putting up with bullshit. If I go to a restaurant, right, and every time I go to this restaurant, they mess up my order, why would I continue going to that restaurant? Why? If I go to a mechanic and I tell him to fix my car and every time I go to this mechanic, he never fixes my car, why would I continue to go get my car fixed from that place? Okay, so now, old guy Dave. The best Saitama AMA we have ever had. Let me say that again. The best Saitama AMA we have ever had by far. Now, a lot of people didn't like this AMA, and I don't understand why. What do you guys expect old Dave to do? You expect old guy to sit there and shake him and freaking interrogate him? No, he asked hard-hitting questions. The questions that I wanted to know about, right? The questions that everyone wanted to know about except crazy fanboys or people who just despise Saitama. They want old guy Dave to go in there and yell at him. I was satisfied with the questions. I wasn't satisfied with the answers. And you could see that Russ was squirming in his seat when Dave was asking him these tough questions, right? Now, Dave, you know, is a Saitama guy. He's in that sphere, right? But I feel like he's starting to build his own brand. He's doing AMAs with other projects and he's branching off into other brands, right? And I think that's good because he, like I said, he's, I mean, he, he's a good dude, right? He's a, a, a veteran in the army. All that, I think he's, a, I think he's an army veteran. It looks like he's an army veteran, um, but he's a good, honest dude. And he was being objective and Russ didn't have any damn good answers for any of those questions. And one of the questions was like, we got to pay double the fees to swap on Saitama, on, on Sadamask. You do. You have to buy Saitama. You have to deal with those fees. And then you got to swap for another token. You have to deal with those fees. Why would I do that? Why couldn't I just go to Uniswap and swap for ETH or USDT? Why can't I just do that? You know? 
What's the point? What's the point of doing any of that, right? And there was no real good answer, right? Now, here's the thing about Russ and say Tom and the team. Look at the more I learn about business, the more I understand. One of the, the one of the biggest things they say is like, hey, don't wait until a product is perfect to put it on the market. I understand. So Russ and his team are throwing a product out there and hoping it sticks, right? Telling everybody it's going to be revolutionary, all, all this other bullshit, and it's not, right? All this other bullshit they're feeding you, it's not. But they put a product on the market to see if it sticks. But when it comes to cryptocurrency in a space where people have trust issues, when we're seeing that on your personal, your wife's personal Facebook, people are surprised that you're making so much money, you're buying, you're buying property and Lambos and trucks and stuff. When you're living a lavish lifestyle and it seems that all these top wallets, which are questions he asked, right? Questions old guy Dave asked. When these top wallets are dumping millions of dollars of Saitama and we know some of those wallets belong to the dev and then you're lying to us saying you're not, spending any of the any, any of that money right you're paying for it all out of pocket right in a space like DeFi, i don't think that same rule can apply when it comes to some of these cryptocurrency products because so many people are losing money the other day sata realty started pumping like crazy and all kinds of people were like oh my god it's pumping all fudders you're gonna be mad now it was a honeypot you couldn't sell your t you could buy but you couldn't sell what the hell is going on People are losing so much money in this dumb app. It's so terrible. And, you know, people tell me to move on, stop talking about the product. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to keep exposing you guys. You know why? Because you hate it. You're cracking, right? The team is cracking. They're starting to block everybody, right? They're starting to squirm in their seat. They're starting to run out of run out of lies. They're trapping themselves in the corner. There's documentations of them saying one thing and then doing the complete opposite, right? And this, this AMA is very telling. Now, I'm not telling you to go harass old guy Dave if you don't like me because he's actually pro Saitama. He's actually been a good figure in the space and I actually made this uh, gif right here. Because <laughs> I made, not gif, but this picture of old guy Dave dunking on Russ and he did it. Look at in this scenario, old guy Dave dunked on Russ and then helped him up. Nuts on the forehead, slam dunk, helped him up. I got you, buddy, right? Um, so, you know, it's not like old guy Dave hates Saitama. He just asked the hard hitting questions that investors want to hear. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Say mask has been an utter failure, right? And if you want to compete with the big boys, you got to do better. Cause right now look like a piece of crap. You're tricking a lot of people to buy your dumb app. The price keeps dumping and people are getting fed up, right? I'm going to put a link to this AMA down below. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. It's a very good AMA. Give old guy Dave a follow. I think he has a YouTube channel as well. Follow his YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.